Um, well, well, I was, well, I've been pooped since I was in my mom's pool, you know, so. Um, uh, well, the next door neighbor, the next door neighbor, um, who from what my mom had said, was, uh, the next door neighbor, an old man named Mr. Southern. Uh, I used to see my mom when she was pregnant with me, and he used to say, how's, how's Pookie doing? How's, how's Pookie doing? He's an old Jewish guy. And um, so my father is from, from down south and never gets anyone his name right. You know, we're from, <laughs> we're from Poochie to Poochie. So my mom, when she was telling me, she's like, she's like, she's like, he's named Poochie. He's like, I, and he's like, I know, that's what I'm saying. No, she, my mom would say, he's named Poochie. My dad's like, I know, that's what I'm saying. Poochie gonna be smoked. <laughs> smoke. He's gonna be a son of a gun. So that's kind of how it stuck. So coming out, that's all I've ever known. Uh, I'm marrying Junior, and uh, but you know, I've always known my Poochie and Pooch. And she's doing what it is I'm doing now. Um, it is tough because it's like it's something that I, I want to share with her to say thank you. Um, and my dad being older, um, we don't have we don't have the same talks how we used to when I was a kid because he's a lot older now and you know he's retired and it, so it's something that I have to like just know that regardless that they're going to be happy. Um, no matter what, so, um, it's like, when you decide to settle down with who you want to settle down with, that's you guys' choice, and then you guys become a team and, and form the unit. Um, and, and it's, it's a work in progress relationship, and I think, you know, with this film, it's not about where, where you're from, I mean, it is, it is about where you're from, but it's about where you guys are going. That's why I thought it was so important to me to play this character because, you know, I think that that's where these young girls and, and all of us, a lot of us tend to, without judging anyone, get messed up. It's because they're like, well, I want the guy who's already established this, or I want the guy who has this kind of car, or this or that, and it's, a lot of us are taught that from a very young age, the guy's got to have this. And it's unfortunate because then you lock out all these other prospects of great people who have, you know, beautiful hearts and, you know, they love the Lord or whatever it is. And you know, it, and then I think that's a lot of dysfunctional relationships come from that because women aren't necessarily all the time going out and having their own job or providing for themselves, and looking for someone else to do it for them. And then you know, when the guy does that, and you're sleeping around because there's no real respect or whatever it is, I just think that it creates dysfunctional relationships. And so I, I wanted to play a character whose mind frame was that way and learn throughout the course of the film that you know what, maybe it is about this. Maybe I need to be more open-minded. And you know, also there there is always a friend that are not championing for you to be happy, you know. And so I kind of wanted to show all that. I like playing characters that that are very different, that kind of come to you know full circle by the end of the movie. I think this will help, you know, because I think it really is, you know, about finding a, a partner in crime, if you will, in a positive way, someone who really supports you, respects you, loves you. Um, you know, and that is your equal in their own life as men. So I, I hope that this encourages a lot of marriages.